how to stop fear being triggered. Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing. I talked to you about rabbit holes. It's not about how do you stop the fear being triggered. It's about what's triggering the fear. If you ask the question, how to stop the fear being triggered, you've really got to ask yourself, what are your rules for what has to happen in order to be triggered? Because if you're spending your time trying to create your outer world to be trigger free, that's never going to work. That's going to limit you. It's going to put you on edge. You was going to be looking for where potential danger or triggers could come from. You're going to put yourself in a smaller and smaller box, and you're going to limit your ability to, to act in the movie of your life. Um, it, it's similar to how kids these days, you know, we, we're, we're breeding an entire generation of you know, how I can be easily offended. Right? So what happens, we're trying to then manage the um, uh, arena you know, through political woke bullshit around not offending anyone and creating safe spaces and yeah, uh, uh, other kind of you know, stuff our ancestors would have just you know, fell over laughing at. Instead, rather than try to protect ourselves from external stuff that could jump off around the corner and scare us at any moment or offend us, or, you know, I now have to restrict you with law saying you can't verbally, you know, upset me or attack me or whatever. Why not instead just build a psychology or a model of the world that says uh, it's impossible to offend me? All right, that's, yeah. You give somebody so much self-esteem that any Muppet can walk around the corner and call you nasty names and you smile at them. You give someone such conviction as the star of their own movie, they don't let film extras upset them. You get the idea. So what are the you know, rules that have to happen in order for you to be triggered and what is the fear? Okay? Start looking around that and you'll start getting closer to your answer. But if you're scared of, um, I don't know what you're scared of. Uh, there is, I teach my trainers a very important distinction between fear and danger. See, fear is what you should feel as a alert from your amygdala in the brain that would point towards danger. I'm scared standing on the edge of the cliff. I'm scared the fact that there's four big barbarians in front of me. I'm scared the fact that I can hear tiger noises outside the cave, whatever it may be. Fear is useful to get your attention from sleeping awake so you can focus on danger to then go and avoid it, deal with it, come up with a strategy to mitigate it. But being fearful of anything else, fear plays no useful role whatsoever. None. Oh, no, fear can be useful you know, when it comes to you know, not walking down a dark alley at night. No, it doesn't. No, intelligence is useful for not walking down a dark alley at night. Right? Fear isn't going to allow you, the best self, to show up. It's basically the flashing red light on the dashboard saying you're low on fuel or you know, there's a problem or whatever. Proximity warning. Oh, okay, thank you for letting me know. How do I deal with it? But if you're scared because, I don't know, some mainstream media wants you to you know, think the world's going to burst into flames in yeah, 20 minutes, or I don't know, all the polar bears are going extinct, or some other flavor of the month crap they're trying to shove down your, your throat right now, or you know, uh, you're allowing yourself to be programmed with fears that can be triggered externally that have very little basis to do with your survival. If you're scared about running out of money, right? you create that. Stop being scared about running out of money and start asking questions. Who the hell do I have to become in order to generate more money? Different conversation. Oh, I'm, yeah, I, I'm scared my partner will leave me. Well, if you're walking around like a frightened rabbit, they deserve to leave you. They're probably looking for somebody who's not scared. Oh, well, you know, it, what would happen? Well, I don't know. Go figure it out. 
we're, we're resourceful. People aren't fragile. We create fear because we surround ourselves with so many excuses that normalize it. Again, if you're watching any kind, any kind of mainstream media, six families control that narrative, by the way, and they don't exactly have your best interests at heart, any kind of mainstream media, you cannot be positive. You cannot manifest. You cannot live in through me. Your amygdala is being overstimulated, just like the people in Silicon Valley that are engineering ways while you sleep to figure out how you get pick your phone up the second you open your eyes. It, it, odds are against it. Turn the damn thing off. Turn the media off. If, if you want to watch the media and live in through me and create a, a, a star of your life experience, that's like saying, oh, I'm, you know, I want to be an athlete. Oh, and by the way, I smoke marijuana every day. You know, I, 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 I want to be an you know, Olympian gold, yeah, and I do heroin. It, it's incompatible. You can't be healthy and do those things. You can't be positive, upbeat, joyful, living as a star of your life and programming yourself with other people's agenda as to why the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Someone comes and says, oh my God, isn't things terrible? So well, maybe in your movie. Yeah, wouldn't want to be in that drama. I don't do so properous. Don't want to. And guys, it's not some fantasy. It's, 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 this is what I live. It's how I am. If you want the honest answer, yeah, I tried being unhappy once. I didn't like it. 